Creating and editing a presentation with pictures. A PowerPoint presentation, also called a slideshow, can help you deliver a dynamic, professional looking message to an audience. PowerPoint allows you to produce slides to use in an academic, business, or other environment. The collection of slides in a presentation is called a deck, resembling a deck of cards that are stacked on top of each other. A common use of slide decks is to enhance an oral presentation. A speaker might desire to convey information such as urging students to volunteer at a fundraising event, explaining changes in employee compensation packages, or describing a new laboratory procedure. In this module, you'll learn how to perform basic tasks using PowerPoint. Choosing a document theme and variant. You easily can give the slides in a presentation a professional and integrated appearance by using a theme. A document theme is a specific design with coordinating colors, fonts, and special effects such as shadows and reflections. Several themes are available when you run PowerPoint, each with a specific name. Each theme has a set of four alternate designs called variants. Each variant has the same overall composition, but the colors, fonts, and design elements differ. Go ahead and begin running PowerPoint and point to the Berlin theme on the recent screen, which is right here. Click the theme to display a theme preview dialog box with a thumbnail view of the theme and its variants. Click the lower left green variant to view a preview of that style applied to the thumbnail. Go ahead and click the Create button to apply the Berlin theme and green variant to the presentation and to display slide one. When you open a new presentation, the default title slide layout appears. The purpose of this layout is to introduce the presentation to the audience. PowerPoint includes other standard layouts for each of the themes. The slide layouts are set up in landscape orientation where the slide width is greater than the slide height. Placeholders are boxes with dotted or hatch marked borders that are displayed when you create a new slide, such as right here. To enter the presentation title, click the label, click to add title, located inside the title text placeholder to select the placeholder. Type Autumn Family Programs. Don't press the Enter key just yet. To enter the presentation subtitle paragraph, click the label, click to add subtitle, which is inside your subtitle place text placeholder. Type Tall Oaks Nature Center. You can zoom the view of the slide on the screen so that the text or other content is enlarged or shrunk. When you zoom in, you get a close-up view of your slide. When you zoom out, you see more of the slide at a reduced size. You can zoom in. You can zoom out, you can use your zoom slider, characters that appear on the screen are specific shape and size. Examples of how you can modify the appearance or format of these typed characters on the screen and imprint it and in print include changing the font, style, size, and color. The font, or typeface, defines the appearance and shape of the letters, numbers, punctuation marks, and symbols. Style indicates how the characters are formatted. PowerPoint's text font styles include regular, italic, bold, and bold italic. Size specifies the height of the characters and is gauged by a measurement system that uses points. Color defines the hue of the characters. To select a paragraph, triple-click the paragraph Tall Oaks Nature Center in the subtitle 
to select the paragraph. With the subtitle still selected, click the italic button on the mini toolbar to italicize that text on the slide. Now let's increase the font size from 20 to 36. Again, you can either click this increase button or you can uh, use this um, more arrow and select 36. To accentuate the word autumn, we want to increase the font size and change the font color to orange so it stands out just a little bit more. So we're going to double click the word autumn. And we're going to change it to a different color. Oh, I've moved off my mini toolbar there. We're going to select this orange color at the bottom. Good. Click outside the selected area to select, deselect the word. Now let's save this if we haven't already. Adding a new slide to the pe presentation. When you add a new slide, PowerPoint uses the title and content slide layout. This layout provides a title placeholder and a content area for text, art, charts, and other graphics. Click the new slide button. Create a text slide with a multi-level bulleted list. The information in the slide to text placeholder is presented in a bulleted list with three levels. A bulleted list is a list of paragraphs, each of which may be preceded by a bullet character such as a dot, arrow, or check mark. Most themes display a bullet character at the start of a paragraph by default. A slide that consists of more than one level of bulleted text is called a multi-level bulleted list slide. In a multi-level bulleted list, a lower level paragraph is a subset of a higher level paragraph. It usually contains information that supports the topic in the paragraph immediately above it. To enter a slide title, click in the title placeholder and type Morning Bird Walks. To select a text placeholder. Click the label, click to add text to select the content placeholder. Type enjoy a hike on natural surface trails. And then press the enter key. Click the increase list level button to indent the second paragraph below the first and create a second level paragraph. Type approximately 1.5 miles and then hit enter. Click the decrease list level button so that the second level paragraph becomes a first level paragraph. And we'll continue typing here.
to select a group of words. Position the pointer immediately to the left of the first character of the text to be selected. In this case, the E in the word every. Drag the pointer through the last character of the text to be selected. In this case, the Y in the word Saturday. With the words every Saturday selected, click on the bold button in your mini toolbar. With the words every Saturday still selected, click the increase font size button on the mini toolbar once. This should go to 28. Click outside the selected area to deselect the two words. Adding new slides, changing slide layouts, and changing the theme. A layout specifies the arrangement of placeholders on a slide. These placeholders are arranged in various configurations and can contain text, such as the slide title or a billeted list, or they can contain content such as smart art graphics, pictures, charts, tables, and shapes. The placement of the text in relationship to content depends on the slide layout. Using the layout gallery, you can choose a slide layout. The nine layouts in this gallery have a variety of placeholders to define text and content positioning and formatting. If none of these standard layouts meet your design needs, you can create a custom layout. A custom layout specifies the number, size, and location of placeholders, background content, and optional slide and placeholder level properties. To add a new slide, enter a slide title and headings. Click the new slide more arrow to display the Berlin layout gallery. Click comparison to add slide 3 and apply that layout. Type afternoon insect identification in the title text placeholder. Click the left heading placeholder with the label, click to add text, to select this placeholder. Type grasshoppers. And then press the enter key. Type also known as locus. Select the right heading placeholder and type dragonflies. And press the enter key. Type often mistaken for damselflies. To add a slide with the title only layout. Click the new slide arrow button and select the title only to add that new slide. Click to add your title of Twilight Firefly Hikes. Click Design on your ribbon to display the Design tab. Click the More button arrow. Select Main Event. so that it's applied to all four slides. Changing the variant. When you began creating this presentation, you selected the Berlin theme and then chose a green variant. You can change the color variation at any time for any theme. Point to the green variant here and watch as you get a live preview. Finally, select your green variant to apply this color to all four slides. Save the presentation.